Welcome to We Can Wake Up. Hello, welcome to Saturday We Can Wake Up. We are so excited that you're here with us today. Are you ready for the word? I'm ready for the word. Okay, let's do it. Woo, let's dig in. So today I want to talk about, well, the title is Gratitude Fuels Our Love Walk. I'm going to give two different, um, same scripture passage, but okay. two different translations. Okay. Okay, so it's Luke 7, 47 in the Amplified Version. It says, therefore, I tell you, her sin, sins, many as they are, are forgiven her mm -hmm. because she has loved much. Mm -hmm. But he who is forgiven little loves little. And then over in the Message Bible, the same passage, it says, and I love this, mm -hmm. impressive, isn't it? She was forgiven many, many sins, and so she is very, very grateful. Mm -hmm. If the forgiveness is minimal, the gratitude is minimal. Mm. You see, these two translations are making a correlation between gratitude, mm -hmm. a grateful heart, mm -hmm. and the capacity mm -hmm. for us to love big. Mm -hmm. When we walk grateful, reminding ourselves every day that we have a reason That's to good. live with gratitude, mm -hmm. we expand our capacity to walk out our every day, our mm -hmm. every second, our every minute and moment with a huge capacity for love. And I want to press pause really fast right there because I don't even have it in my notes. But this morning as I was getting ready and kind of going over what we were going to talk about, I was thinking, you know, oftentimes, and because I'm a parent, mm -hmm. and, you know, I'll say to the kids, hey, be grateful, be grateful. You have a roof over your head and you have food. And I'll tell my older ones, you have gas in your car. Your car has tires. <laughs> and I, and you know, and, and you can already see in them going, yeah, yeah, I, you know, like the, and so I want today for us to think through what specifically for you, because come on, yeah. I mean, having air and sight and, you know, a car that runs mm -hmm. and gas, mm -hmm. those can kind of be things that like over time, they're just, mm -hmm. they're used often. Mm -hmm. I want us to think right now in our life, mm -hmm. what do we have to be grateful for mm -hmm. that's specific to your life? Mm -hmm. Two one go <laughs> you, something pop up something pop up yep and it's that that i want us to be ready to do every single day when we specifically can identify something in our life that we have so um, to be grateful for and to yeah. have gratitude for yeah your capacity to love people and i'm talking mm -hmm. difficult people easy people mm -hmm. Annoying people, well, they, they would be difficult people. <laughs> but God has equipped us with the ability to love. And when we attach to what the Word says that we can yeah. have and what we can do, yeah. when we have a full grasp on God's Word and what it brings to our lives, what He living on the inside of us adds to my life, mm -hmm. our love for everyone around us grows. Yeah, And someone can come up and be super annoying and snooty and snotty and... Um, Oh, and don't you just, don't people have just that great timing? Do you have people in your life that have that timing and you're like, really? Like, it's like right now you had to pop up in my life right now in this irritating moment where I'm already annoyed. But you know what? When you've attached to gratitude and you are so grateful for the things that you have to be grateful yeah, for, yeah. you have this ability to love those moments and those people and it doesn't have to be a, um, a it doesn't have to be a subtraction from your tank. It can mm -hmm. absolutely still be a deposit, because your gratitude is what's fueling your ability to love, and and it's it's so expansive and it's so massive on the inside of you. There's a story in in the above scripture. Well, the the scripture is actually mm -hmm. talking about the story mm -hmm. where Jesus goes. He's invited to dinner at Simon's house. And while he's there, a woman is also a guest at Simon, mm. Simon's house. And, you know, I don't know how this happened. I don't know how the foot washing things just popped out and started just, happening. Yeah. But we just, just read the part, story. Yeah. And it did. For the times. And she started washing Jesus' feet with her hair with expensive perfume. Yeah. And it enraged. It annoyed. Let's yeah. just, I don't know if it enraged him. But it annoyed Simon. Yeah. And Jesus says... Halt, hold on. Yeah. You know, Simon, heads up, but um, when I came in the door, he didn't offer to wash my feet. 
you didn't offer to do some of the things that were customary back yeah. then yeah. between the host and the guests. Yeah. And I don't know why. I haven't researched that far enough. But what we do know is that this woman, bold and mm. passionate and extravagant mm -hmm. in what she had to be grateful for in mm -hmm. that moment, mm -hmm. caused her to begin washing the feet of mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I'm losing my, I'm losing my, I'm getting like seriously caught up in all of this. I'm That's like awesome. so caught up in how extravagant. Have you ever met somebody in your life that when they met Jesus, mm -hmm. they got bold mm -hmm. and loud and um, they're on fire and they're, they're passionate because their life was a mess. They meet Jesus. Yep. And now their life is a message. Yep. yep. And they want to go and proclaim it from the rooftops. They want to tell everybody. And have you ever been in the presence of someone who yeah. kind of does? And you're like, ah, yeah, you're kind of awesome. loud. <laughs> Calm down. I know you love Jesus. But it's because they cannot contain. They're so filled with this amount of gratitude yeah. and that's for, the, exactly. for what's forgiven mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. And they want everyone to know mm -hmm. this man, Jesus, and, and what he adds and brings to their life. And they want everyone to know that life-saving power. Yeah. And they want everyone to know they have something to be grateful for and that they're deeply loved and they have this capacity to love on the inside of them. I love it. This is such a perfect word for this week mm -hmm. because we just had Thanksgiving. Yes. And um, I think it's it's actually, I'm going to say this, I think it's a prophetic word for this weekend. I love that. And as we, love you know, that. go to church this weekend, because here we are on Saturday, mm -hmm. so, you know, you're going to go to church tomorrow. And I think when we get in the presence of God, I don't know about you, but it always seems to happen to me at like Easter yeah. and Christmas Eve services. I am just overwhelmed. I, I do relate to this, this story of this woman because she had been forgiven of so much. She is mm -hmm. now just, she can't contain herself mm -hmm. with the tears um, that she just has to do something for Jesus in that moment and washing his feet. Maybe she noticed, you know what? Yeah. His feet weren't washed when he came into this household. So I, I love and I, I experienced so much forgiveness in my own life. And now I'm, she just literally just stepped right into. Well, you just said something that's really powerful <laughs> because like maybe because she didn't, she wasn't looking at the situation. She was looking at what she could give into the situation. You just now said that. Mm -hmm. Maybe she noticed that Jesus' feet had maybe. been washed. And she said, I can do that. Yes. How many times do we walk in, just like you're saying, how many times do we walk into church and it's, we have a need and I'm not, there's nothing wrong with having no. a need. There's nothing wrong with needing a touch from God. But what if we walked in saying, I'm going to be, one what do two. I bring into yes. this? Can I bring, I'm so grateful in this moment. I'm going to come, especially at the holiday season. Yeah. yeah. Most of our focus is on what we don't have, how little we have yeah. and how much more we need. Yeah. And what if, what if we just thought I'm going to go into service tomorrow. I'm going to go into church this weekend yeah. and I'm going to go in so incredibly grateful for all God's already done. Yes. Trusting gushing. him to do even more. Yeah. I, you said the word, I thought you said the word gushing. Like she was just gushing with mm -hmm. thankfulness. Yes. And you know, we need to be thankful. We need to be thankful for, and, and that gratitude just yes. flowing out of our mouths and, and out of our hearts, to be honest with you. Yes. That no matter what, we get a great parking space. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you yes. that you led me here today. And I'm finding all the items I wanted to pick out today yep. that are on my list. Thank you, Lord, that I have divine health. Thank that you, I, I don't have a pain in my body. Thank you, Lord, that I, I have a family, that I have kids, that I have, you know, if we, if we start doing this and being gushing about our Jesus, wow, what an amazing thing to, to, to happen. And, and for, if you have children, for them to see happening in so your life, good. right? No, it's so, it's so good. Well, we, you know, for every, for everything that we do, for every second that we live, we're emulating, we're, we're mentoring someone, whether yeah. we know it or not. We have yeah. eyes that are watching, whether it's children or family members that desperately need to know all of this. And, um, no, that's powerful. And it's powerful for this season. Yes. And if we can do it in this season, how much more can we do it in those seasons yes. where we're not running around crazy? Yes. <laughs> right. To get everything done. I just thought of something. Thank you, Lord, for all the deals I got on Black Friday yesterday. Okay. I uh, 
Did you go? <laughs> did you go, did you go shopping? Yeah, I don't Black Friday I, shop. I don't either, actually. No. Well, we actually talked about like online. So just a little life hack. If yeah. you don't want to be overrun by the crowds, maybe you know, sit down with your phone or your laptop or an iPad at home with a, yeah. a, a cup of hot chocolate and, and a movie uh, going on and yeah. do your shopping. Right? Just do it online. All right. You want to pray? I do. Okay. Okay. Father God, I thank you and I praise you right now for our ability to live grateful lives. I thank you and I praise you right now, even as we're praying. Holy Spirit, you're mm. showing the people listening and the people watching the areas of their life that are that they have every reason to be grateful for. I thank you and I praise you that everyone listening and everyone watching is stepping right now into gratitude. I thank you for that prophetic word. I thank you for this over yes. this specific episode and in this specific season where we're stepping into celebrating all that you have given in the gift of Jesus. And we will not allow the enemy to rob us of all the joy that that brings. So I thank you and I praise you that gratitude fuels our love walk and that we're going to um, just expand and grow in that area. We thank you and we praise you. And I pray a, a blessing over the holidays in Jesus' powerful name. Amen. Amen. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And have a great Saturday. See you later. <laughs>